So today's video is another video in the Hasha Disney Crochet series. Today we're moving swiftly on to the Coral Reef Square, which is issue number 38. We're going to be making this square just here. It is only the one colour, so we are just using one yarn for this, which is the coral. And then obviously we've got the white, as we always do, to add the border at the end. So that all being said, let's just get straight into it. So as we normally do, we're starting off with a slip knot on our hook and we then want to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. We then want to join with a slip stitch into the first chain that we did. So you can count back your stitches from the start to find the first one. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we're going into the one at the end, pulling a loop through, and then pulling it straight through the loop on our hook. And we have a circular shape. We're then moving on to round one. So we want to chain one. And we want to do double crochets into the ring that we've got here. So I'll show you how to do a few. As always, I can't tell you exactly how many stitches there should be because I can't give away the full pattern due to copyright. These aren't my patterns, they belong to Hachette Disney Crochet. But we do need to do the UK double crochet stitch into the ring. So put your hook through the ring, pull up a loop so you've got two on your hook, yarn over and pull through both and we've done one and just keep repeating that. There's two, three and we'll keep repeating that until we've got exactly the amount of stitches that it says under round one in the magazine. So I'm gonna go all the way to the end of this round and I will meet you back here to show you what you need to do next. So once you've done the amount of double crochets that it says to do in the magazine under row one, we want to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we did. So if you turn that one on to the side, you can see your first V just there. So we're going to go in through that one, pull that one through and pull it straight through the loop on your hook and you finish round one. For round two, we're chaining four. One, two, three, and four. We then want to do a treble into the next double crochet and then do one chain. And we're going to repeat that going around. So yarn over into your next stitch, pull up a loop so you have three on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and chain one. Keep repeating that. So yarn over into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain one. Yarn over into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain one. Keep going all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. So I've done my last treble followed by one chain and we're finishing this round off with a slip stitch into our first one chain space and by that they mean we want to go not into any of the stitches but just into the first gap just here and slip stitch into there and that is round two finish. For round three we're chaining four. One, two, three and four and we want to do two trebles into the same space that these chains are coming out of. So you've got your chains just here and directly below you've got your gap where my nail is coming through so we want to do two trebles into that one. So yarn over and into your space, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two yarn over into that same space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two and you've done your two trebles 
into that space. We then want to do two half trebles into each of the next two one chain spaces. The one chain spaces are these gaps in between. So we're doing two half trebles into the next and two half trebles into the one after. So yarn over into that space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three and repeat that stitch into the same space. And we're going to do two more of those into the next space. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three and repeat that stitch into the same space. After we've done those, we want to do two trebles and one double treble into the next space. So yarn over into the next space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and there's our first treble. And one more into that same space. We then want to do a double treble. So yarn over twice, into that same space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. We are squaring off this circle now so to be able to turn a corner like we normally do we're chaining two one and two we now need to repeat what we've just done backwards so into the next space it's one double treble and then two trebles so yarn over twice into that space pull up a loop Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then two trebles into that same space. So yarn over, into your space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more of them into that same space. And you've just done your first corner. So now we're just repeating what we've just done along. So we want to do two half trebles into the next two spaces. Yarn over into your next space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over into the same space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And two more of those into the next space. And now we're going to be forming our next corner. So two trebles and a double treble into your next space. So yarn over, next space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more of those into that same space. And then we want to do a double treble into that space. So yarn over twice into that space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're at our next corner, so we want to chain two to turn the corner. And then repeat that last space backwards into this one. So rather than two trebles and a double treble, we're doing a double treble followed by two trebles. So yarn over twice, into your next space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now our two trebles into that space. There's one and two. And now we're at the start of the next round again. So it's two half trebles in each of the next two spaces. Yarn over, next space, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, same space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Two half trebles into the next space as well. There's one and two, and we're at our next corner, which is two trebles and one double treble. So yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Repeat that stitch into that same space. And now we need one double treble into that same space. So yarn over twice. pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, chain two for your corner. 
and into the next space it's one double treble two trebles so yarn over twice into your next space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two two trebles into that same space just pull through two pull through two for the treble and repeat that into the same space we want to do two half trebles over the next two spaces. So yarn over into that space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three and repeat that stitch into the same space. Two more of those into your next space. There's one and two. And now we're back to finishing off the corner where we started. So into the next space, we want two trebles followed by a double treble. So yarn over into your next space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more of those into that space. And now we want a double treble. So yarn over twice into that space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. We then want to chain one and we're finishing off with a double crochet into the fourth chain. So our chains are here. So we've got one, two, three and four. So go into the fourth one, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both and you've finished round three. For round four, we want to chain three one two and three we then want to do a treble into our corner space at the base of our chains so yarn over i'm pulling those sides apart to find my corner space so go in through that one pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two we then want to do a treble into each of the next 10 stitches along so yarn over if you want to make sure you've got all of them you can count from that first corner. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So I'm going into that first one, which is always a bit tricky because it's a chain stitch from the last row. So you won't necessarily have your V there. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and I've done one into my next. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine and ten and i'm now at my first corner into the corner i need to do two trebles two chains two trebles so yarn over into your corner pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two one more treble two chains and two more trebles into that space there's one and two. So I'm going to carry on with this round off camera. It's 10 trebles along into the corner space. It's two trebles, two chains, two trebles. I'll meet you at the end of the round. So at the last corner for round four, we want to do two trebles into the corner space. So yarn over and into that space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, or one more into that space. We then want to chain one and join with a double crochet into the third chain. So we've got our chain stitches just here. We want to go into the third one, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both. And we'll then move on to round five. So chain three, one, two and three. We're then skipping 
our first stitch, doing a half treble into the next and then chaining one. So if you yarn over ready, ignore that first stitch, go into the next, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three and then chain one. And then we repeat, oh my chain's not working here is it? I'm going to do that again. There we go. And we're just repeating that along. So if you yarn over ready, skip a stitch into the next one. And do your half treble and then chain one. Do that all the way along. Skip a stitch into your next half treble, chain one. Skip a stitch into the next half treble chain one skip a stitch into the next half treble chain one skip a stitch into the next half treble chain one so when you get to your first corner you should have done that seven times don't count your chain stitches at the beginning but there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you finish off by chaining one. In our corner, we want to do one half treble, two chains, one half treble. So yarn over and into that space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three, chain two, and another half treble into that space. We're then going to repeat what we've just done along so yarn over, skip a stitch and into the next and do your half treble and then chain one. So there's one, there's my second, three, four, five, six and seven chain one into the corner one half treble two chains and one half treble so repeat what we've done already for the first two sides and i'll meet you at the end of the round so i'm at the last corner into that corner we want to do a one half treble we're then going to chain one and we want to join with a double crochet into the second chain so we've got one chain here my second one is here i'm going into that one pulling up a loop yarn over and pull through both and we've got two more rounds to go in the coral. So we're chaining three. One, two, and three. And we're doing the treble stitch again now. And we want to work into the corner space at the base of the chains. So yarn over and into your corner. And we're just doing the one treble into that corner space. We then want to do two trebles into the, each of the next eight one chain spaces so the one chain spaces are the gaps in between and we're doing two in each so yarn over and we're going in through that space not into the stitch so pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and then another one into that same one chain space and then two into the next one chain space one and two, two in the next, 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 there's one and two, two in the next, one and two and two into the last one chain space, one and two and now we're at our first corner. 
Into the corner we're doing two trebles, two chains, two trebles. So yarn over, into your corner space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. One more treble. Oh, that went completely wrong. One more treble. Chain two, one and two, and then two more trebles into that space. One and two. So the same going along, two trebles into each of the one chain spaces. And then in your corner, it's two trebles, two chains, two trebles. I'll meet you at the end of the round. So for the last corner, we are doing two chains into the corners. We're not doing two chains at all. So for the last corner, we're doing two trebles into that corner space. There's one. And two. We're then chaining one. And finishing off with a double crochet into our third chain. So we've got our chain stitches just here. Go into your third pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both. And now we have the last round of the coral. So we're chaining two and we want to do a half treble into each of the next 20 trebles that we've got. So we're not doing any stitches into your corner space to begin with. We're just going straight into the tops of the stitches from the last row. If I can go through the first, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three for your half triple. So there's one into your next, two, three, Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Into the corner space we're doing one half treble, two chains, one half treble. So yarn over and into your corner, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. Chain two and then into your corner space with another half treble. So that's 20 half trebles along. In your corner it's one half treble, two chains, one half treble. I'll meet you at the end of the round. So I'm at my very last corner for the coral. Into that one we are doing one half treble. Finishing off with two chains. One and two. And then it's a slip stitch into the second chain that we did at the beginning. So go in through, pull up a loop, pull that one straight through the one on your hook. You can now fasten off the coral colour and then join your white to any of your corner spaces. So for this square I'm going to stick to the instructions in the book for the border because I feel that this is quite an average size square. It's not too big, it's not too small, so I'll stick with the ones that we've got. So I've joined my white to any of my corner spaces already on that square and once you've done that you want to chain two and we're then doing one half treble into each of the next 10 stitches so yarn over into your first stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through three and we've done one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We then want to do two half trebles into the next stitch. So there's one and two. And we're then going to do one half treble into each of the next 11 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And 11. Into our corner space, we want to do one half treble, two chains, one half treble. One half treble, two chains, one half treble. So for this round for the border, it's a 10 half trebles, two half trebles in the next stitch. 11 half trebles, your corners are one half treble, two chains, or one half treble. I will meet you at the end of the round. So once you've gone all the way around with your border, the last instruction is to finish off with one half treble into the corner space. We then want to chain two and join with a slip stitch into the second chain of the chain stitches that we did at the start of the row. And there's that one done, so you can fasten that one off. I'll just pull that one through. And that is your coral reef square complete. So that was issue 38 of the Hachette Disney Crochet series, the coral reef Moana square. I just need to ask if you are still using these videos whilst buying the subscription, please can you make sure to leave a like on the video? It's purely for me to gauge how many people are still using my videos because the number does seem to have dropped the amount of people liking the videos and either that means that you don't like the videos <laughs> but I, I do know that there are a lot of people still watching them because I can see the amount of numbers of people watching them but there's just not very many likes left so if you can just I don't want to sound like I'm begging but if you can just leave a like because that does help me to gauge how many people are actually following the whole video to the end and making the squares because these videos take up so much of my time because of technology they take anything between sort of 10 to 12 hours each video to make and it would be silly of me to keep making them if they weren't being used. So I'm really appreciative if you could just do that and just make sure you keep doing it for every single video that you do use because I then don't have to keep asking. But make sure as well if you need any help of course to comment below the video, always really good to hear from you. And like I always say, if you want a notification for the next video, just make sure to hit the subscribe button and you'll get a little notification when I do release the next one. So I guess all that's left to say is have an absolutely fantastic week and I will see you for the next one. Bye.